am so excited for this video today, you guys. We're going to be trying a ton of new ColourPop cosmetics. That includes the brand new No Filter Stick Foundation. I did get my PR package in from ColourPop yesterday, so I'm sorry I did not have this video up by launch time. I always try to have it up before launch or on the day of the launch. And I didn't get the package till the day before the launch, literally yesterday, so I'm sorry about that. Now, they've only sent three shades, so fingers crossed one of these three shades fits me. But this is what the new stick foundation looks like. I think it's a very beautiful looking clean uh, package and it kind of, you know, it, it totally goes with the ColourPop color scheme of just being like white and silver, you know, just their standard ColourPop stuff always tends to be white. So I think that's very pretty. Could get a little messy is what I was thinking. Um, but yeah, we're going to try it out today. And I also have some eye products that we're also going to be using. So I have three shades of the Fair family. I'm going to show you each one of those now. Keep in mind as you guys are watching this video, if there's any ColourPop products or any orders you want to place, you can use my coupon code. It's SHADE20 for 20% off. Now it doesn't work on palettes or Super Shock Shadow eye sets. It doesn't work on any group product, if you know what I'm saying, but it works on individual products. So if you were to buy a foundation, a concealer, a Super Shock Shadow, anything individual, it'll work on that. So keep in mind it is an affiliate code. I do 100% want you guys to know that, but it will save you 20% off of your purchase. So the first shade I have here is Fair 05, and this is a warm foundation. They do have warm, neutral, and cool foundation formulas. And here is what Fair 05 looks like. And again, this is a warm tone. Next we have Fair 07, and this is a neutral tone. There is Fair 07 next to the Fair 05. And the last foundation stick that I was sent is Fair 30C. So this would be your cool tone. And there is Fair 30C swatched next to the other two. So we have the warm tone, the neutral tone, and the cool tone. I do believe out of these three, the Fair 30C will match me the best. I think these other two are a little too light and not necessarily in my shade range. I prefer either a yellow or a neutral tone for me personally, but I think that this cool tone foundation actually might work just fine. So I'm actually gonna leave these on my hand to see if they oxidize, if I notice them deepening up at all. So far in the first few seconds, I don't think I notice it oxidizing whatsoever. It looks pretty much the same, but I'm gonna check back in in a few minutes. So a few little facts about this foundation before we pop it on. It is a medium to buildable coverage. It's supposed to give you a blurring and natural skin finish kind of effect. So it's not gonna be dewy, it's not gonna be over matte, it's gonna be right there in the middle for just a natural skin look. They are also 100% vegan and 100% cruelty free. So that's really exciting for a lot of you out there. I'm gonna apply it with a foundation sponge as well as with a brush so we can kind of just see how it goes on both ways. And if I didn't already say it, this foundation is $10. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I never know how to apply stick foundation. That was probably the weirdest application I could have applied there. I'm just kind of going around. That was probably too much, right? <laughs> I'm gonna do the side with my Sigma 3D HD blending sponge and just start blending that in. It feels drier, which I like. Not too dry where you can feel it dragging your skin, but sometimes with stick foundations, I almost feel like they're too creamy or too oily for me. And as I am acne prone, I get really worried about that type of foundation. If it feels super creamy or super thick, I get like, ah, scared. I love wearing the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, but it does scare me because it feels so heavy. I'm always like, oh my gosh, I can like almost feel that my skin's about to break out. I love the coverage. I think it's gorgeous, but I do worry with that heavier, thicker foundation. And of course that is a liquid, but I guess what's a better example? Like the Makeup Revolution foundation sticks. I love those. Beautiful coverage. I love how my skin looks with them, but they do feel a little heavy on the skin for me, just as for my preference. And I normally use liquid, so that might make sense why I get a little uneasy with the sticks. I'm just not used to it. Just not accustomed to it, I guess. I think overall, this is a pretty good match. It might be a shade too light. I would maybe go up one in the cool tone family or in the neutral family. If I had self tanner on, this would not work at all, but I have no self tanner today. Checking in on our swatches, they still don't seem to be oxidizing at all, in my opinion. They look like they're kind of holding up well. Now I want to apply the brush side before I go in for a second layer, which I do believe I would want. I mean, it's a medium coverage definitely. It's definitely living up to what they say it is. I'm going to blend this with the Sigma Beauty F80 Air Flat Kabuki Brush. I do really like how fast it seems to blend in. I was a little sad 
Not like because I want, I want so much makeup, but I was a little sad they didn't send a few more colors of the foundation so we could try it out as contour and bronzer and you know, things like that because that's what's so great about stick foundations. You can use them in so many ways. And I know a lot of makeup artists, like working makeup artists prefer sticks so that they don't have to lug around 30, you know, glass bottles of foundation. They can just take sticks and use them for contouring, for foundation, for concealer, like use it for it all. So it can be super handy if you are a makeup artist. This is definitely a little light for me, but I'll just have to make do because I don't have another shade and I still want to tell you guys about the product. The shade problem aside, it is definitely a medium to sheer finish upon first application. Easy, easy, easy to blend in. It blended in so quickly and I don't, I hate putting my hands on my face, but I want to feel the product and there's no residue. There's no oily residue. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but that's what I really like. That's what I worry about with cream stick foundations. Okay, so I've done my concealer a little bit of bronzer and blush and highlighter and I set my makeup with the Too Faced Peach Perfect powder. I do have a crap ton of baking powder under my eyes as you can see and that's only because we are using, there's setting powder on it, let me clean it off on my leg. We are using the ColourPop Ooh La La palette. This is the pink palette that came out on October 3rd for Mean Girls Day and I've yet to use it. Now I know this palette is currently sold out. Hopefully it'll be back in stock soon but I want to use this as well as something I'm so excited for. We're also going to be using another new color pop collaboration. This is actually a Make-A-Wish collaboration, which I think is so fantastic. This is the packaging here. There's also lip gloss we're gonna use too. ColourPop partnered up with not only Make-A-Wish to do this, but they also selected a 17 year old girl who is battling cancer. She has, I believe it's called, she's battling osteosarcoma. I'm sorry if I butchered that. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. Her name is Delilah. She's a 17 year old makeup lover and her wish was to create a ColourPop collab, which I think is just unbelievable. So amazing. So we're gonna be using her products in today's video as well. And if you purchase this between now and January 11th of 2019, ColourPop will be donating 20% of the proceeds to Make-A-Wish, which is fantastic. This is just really hits in my heart. It is gorgeous. It's something that you would love, not only because you'll love the colors that she chose for her Super Shock shadows and for the lip gloss set, but also just because it supports something so amazing. So I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys to check that out. And again, I wanna make sure you guys know my coupon code will not work on that. Not only because it's a set, but also the proceeds are going to go to Make-A-Wish, which is the most important. So, so just letting you guys know, don't try to use my coupon code on the Make-A-Wish journey set because the proceeds obviously go to Make-A-Wish and that's where they need to go. That's what's most important. But also because it is a set, it wouldn't apply to that anyway. So we're good there. I just want to make sure no one tried to get money off of that because it won't work. But also even if it did work, I wouldn't want it. So just bear that in mind. Let's go ahead and get moving on the eyes. I will say, because we are doing a wear test, the side that I applied with the brush, I noticed cracking on the sides of my mouth. It looks like really bad right there. Now I have dry skin around my mouth. I had lip liquor's disease. I don't know the proper medical term, but when I was younger growing up, I had this really, really bad. I had an addiction to licking the sides of my mouth. And ever since then, I just have scar tissue and scars on the sides of my mouth that always are dry and look kind of cracked and patchy and just sucks. But the foundation doesn't look great right on the sides of my mouth, but that happens a lot because of my skin texture. But I do notice right here there is cracking in my smile lines when applied with a brush but the side that was applied with a sponge there's none of that so I think it is very important and I highly recommend using a sponge to apply that foundation I think it just buffed it out a lot better so if you guys are ready let's do our eyes first starting with the Ulala la palette I first want to go into the shade soft core and I'm just working this through my crease this is a beautiful pink just working it through the crease and blowing it up as our transition shade I actually expected it to be a little more neutral, almost like a dusty rose, but it's coming up a lot brighter. Next with my E25 blending brush, I wanna go into the shade Trove. This looks gorgeous. And I'm gonna work Trove into my crease, just building that up right there, and then bring it over across the lid. How gorgeous is that? Oh my goodness. This shade was a little bit trickier to blend out. I know these shades often are. They're a little bit, I think they're usually a drier formula. Like I'm not a chemist or a makeup maker. <laughs> I'm not a, a cosmetic formulator, but I have noticed when using shades like this one that they are tend to be a little trickier to blend out. I don't know if it's like, I almost feel it's like when they're being buffed onto the lid, it like has some type of reaction with the shadow to where it just wants to stay in place and it doesn't 
move around the best. It's not horrible by any means, but it's just it takes a little more elbow grease to get it moving. Isn't that fun? Again, this is sold out right now, but I'm sure they'll be restocking it. Next, we're using Delilah's collab. We're using her Super Shock Shadow. So there are four shadows in this set and they are gorgeous. I think what I love the most is she actually has meaning behind each shadow name. They all stand for something, so I'm gonna tell you guys her little definitions or the meanings and the story behind the name she chose for her shadows. The very first shade is called OK. Delilah says, when I was going through my pain and hard times in my cancer journey, I would tell myself it was going to be OK. And there is OK swatched. The next shade we have is DJ, and Delilah says, these are my initials, and I wanted to have my initials in it, which, duh, of course, Delilah, that is perfect. Here is DJ swatched, and it is pigmented, it is vibrant, and I love that this color is your initials, Delilah, that's amazing. The next shade is called Cherish. Delilah named this Cherish because she wants us to look around and cherish the now, and I think that's a great reminder to do so. I'm sure we could all do that more, and there is Cherish. This lash shade here has my heart. This looks so beautiful and this is called Warrior. This name is so perfect, her definition for this shade. She named it Warrior because childhood cancer warriors are strong and bold. There is Warrior, how beautiful is Warrior. It is the perfect shade for that name. Delilah, you did a beautiful collection, girl. Congratulations to you, this looks amazing. So for this look, gosh, I, I have to use Warrior. It is just such a powerful color. You guys know I love shades like that. I think I also want to use, I think I also want to use Cherish. Yeah, I think let's first go in with Cherish first. And I'm just gonna use my fingers because you guys know it's the best way to apply the Super Shock Shadows. And I'm gonna pop Cherish all over the lid. I love the silver sparkle in this one. Oh my goodness. Delilah, this is my heart. This is so beautiful. You guys know I love Super Shock Shadows like this because it almost looks wet, you know? It just gives you that kind of glossy eye effect. Ah, oh, I love that. That's just beautiful on its own. We could leave it just like that and it looks amazing, but I just have to use Warrior. I can't help it. My soul craves these types of shades. So I wanna just take that on the outside of Cherish. Like, hello, it's amazing. I'm gonna pop that right there on the edge. We're getting super colorful today. I'm just gonna marry that into Cherish. It's such a fun, easy little way to use a fun blue shadow like this. You know what I mean? Just throw it in. I know we have pink, we have blue, we have a lot going on here, but you can't deny it's beauty. It's a beautiful combination. If you're scared of colors like this, just do what I'm doing. Just mix it into a little bit of a neutral color. People won't even look at the blue. They'll just be like, wow, your makeup is amazing. I love this so much. Again, congrats, Delilah. This is a beautiful collection. We're gonna use her lip glosses at the end of this too, but I'm gonna go ahead and dust off the setting powder and throw on my eyeliner and my mascara just because I'm not using anything new for from ColourPop. I don't want to waste your guys' time because we're going to be getting to the foundation wear test. Um, so yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so my eye makeup is finished. It is gorgeous. I love this look. This wouldn't normally be a color combination I would do, and I just kind of did it because I wanted to use everything, and I was hoping it would turn out nicely, and I think it's gorgeous. It totally made that blue a little more wearable, and like, I think the pink totally goes. This is awesome. So Delilah also has three lip glosses in her collection. She has JJ. She has has New Day and she has a Wish. All super wearable shades. They look absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and it has ColourPop X Delilah on the side. That is awesome. They chose such a pretty font for her name too. I think because the eyes are so loud, I am just gonna go in with New Day, which is a nice little milky nude maybe. is gorgeous. I know this is just a super light milky nude. Definitely more on the sheer side, but if you have super loud eye makeup on, I think this would be totally perfect to top your lips off with. But if you like more color, these definitely have more color in them. So that's it for this look, you guys. It's actually a little, a little afternoon. So I'm gonna go and live my day. I've got like three videos to edit. I need to work out, which will certainly be a test for this makeup. I need to have some lunch and then I need to make dinner. And then I'm gonna come back around 8, 9 p.m to just show you guys what my face looks like. So yeah, but so far so good. The only place I noticed any problems was in a smile line on the side that we used the makeup brush with. So I think that's super interesting to keep in mind. The side with the sponge application definitely looks smoother and I don't notice any creasing anywhere, none in my smile line. So bear that in mind. I'm gonna go continue on about my day and I'll be right back. And for you guys, I will be right back. But for me, it'll be like eight hours later. So stay tuned, I'll see you guys very soon. And 
I hope you're having the best day ever. Hey guys, what's up? I am back. I am back after my wear test. It is about 9.45 at the moment. I've had this on since around 12. So that's around nine and a half hours, give or take. And this, okay, I will be honest with you guys. I've been drinking. I hope it doesn't show, but like, who cares? I had Italian for dinner and you know, you just can't have Italian without a little wine. I mean, you can, but what good is that? It's just like, it goes together, you know? Anyway, that's not what this is all about. It's the end of my wear test day. I did a lot today. I edited two videos, which, you know, doesn't really make me sweat or make my makeup move. So that's really nothing. But I did work out. I did my elliptical workout routine for about 45 minutes. And then I also did some blog alates, which I love which is like pop Pilates, it's a thing. Look it up on YouTube if you are interested. Anyway, this foundation has been on for quite a while and I'll be honest, I am quite impressed. There are a few areas of concern for me, not really concern, but just where it didn't hold up. But overall, I really like how it looks. I have to say it held my bronzer and my blush and my highlighter really, really well. That's always very important to me. because Sometimes I feel like, and it could be the bronzer or blushes fault. I can't say it's the foundation, but sometimes I feel like I notice with certain foundations, my blush and my bronzer wear off faster. Now that could be the blush and the bronzer. I can't blame it straight on the foundation, but, but I typically use the same bronzers and the same blushes, like the same bronzer and blush palette, like pretty much every day. And sometimes if I use a different foundation, I notice it separating or I notice it doesn't last as long. So for me personally, I feel like it held my blush and my bronzer really really well I think it looks really good I have a little creasing going across my forehead it's not the worst I've ever seen and it's pretty standard for me with my foundation wear every day let's get to the problem area the one place I really noticed it wearing off it's probably because I'm eating and I'm sweating and I'm talking and I'm doing all this just around the mouth area it really disappeared it really disappeared again I did eat with the makeup on and it was a slob kebab type of meal I had chicken parmesan I won't lie that's what I had for dinner and it was quite quite messy and saucy. <laughs> and so I did use my napkin on my face. That could have been me just being a complete pig. That's the only place I really noticed where it disappeared, around my mouth and definitely on my chin. There's a breakdown around my mouth too where it looks like it's separating a bit. But I do wanna point out right here on the blended with the sponge side, this is the side we applied it with my sponge. My laugh line is not there. Like it didn't crease there at all. Whereas with the brush, it had creased within like the first five to 10 minutes. So I think you need to know that like a sap like right off the bat definitely apply the foundation with the sponge if you're gonna be checking it out and picking it up I definitely recommend the sponge overall though I think my face my general face looks great minus my mouth chin area that honestly could have been because of my eating I don't know I think that held up really really well I do notice it a little faded on the tip of my nose but I do brush my nose a lot it's allergy season so you know it's only so much I can do I really think for nine hours it did a pretty good job you guys let me know what you think if you think it looks absolutely horrid I will trust your opinions. I don't think it's that bad. I really don't. You guys know I have acne scars. Look at the side of my cheek. I think it looks pretty great. I have a little breakout showing through here. You gotta remember it is a medium coverage. It's a medium to buildable coverage. It's not straight out full coverage. So as far as a medium buildable coverage goes, I think it did its job and it looks pretty good. Again, the few only areas where I notice where it could be touched up is my forehead, right in my forehead wrinkle and around my mouth where I was eating. But every other general area, that I wasn't really touching much or bothering with. It didn't break apart or move apart. It looks really good, I'd say, yeah. My main problem was just here and I was eating. I do really like the foundation. Is it my favorite foundation? No. And the only reason why I would say no is because A, I think I need a shade that fits me a little better. I still think this was a little light on me. And B, I'm just an old school liquid makeup lover. I don't know, every time I get a stick foundation, I like them, but I find myself still reaching for my liquids. I just like the comfort of a liquid foundation. I love the way they dry down on my skin. I don't know what to say. I think just in my hearts of hearts, I know that I'm a liquid foundation girl. This was good and I will definitely keep using this. Throughout the day as I was wearing this foundation, I was kind of just trying to think about stick foundation and where would I see this being ideal for my life if I like the coverage and everything, which I do. I think this would be my perfect foundation for travel, say traveling on a plane or on a bus or however you're traveling. It's so easy to just Please excuse Luca. It's so easy to just throw this in your bag. It has a nice little seal. It takes some effort to pull off, so it's not gonna be rolling around in your bag. But I think it'd be great to throw in your purse. Say you have a long flight, you need to get off the flight looking a little fresh. You don't wanna, you know, get off the plane like a slop kebab. It's perfect for that. You can blend it in with your fingers because it doesn't stay oily. There's not a lot of residue. It blends down really, really nice. And it is a very natural finish. This is a foundation I think I would always keep in my purse, whether I'm traveling, 
or just like going out on the weekend. Like, you know when you run like a full day of errands and then you and your spouse or your best friend are like, hey, we've been running around all day. Let's go get dinner. Let's go get a drink. And you're like, I would love to, but I kind of look a little eh, like tired, run down. You don't feel your best. This would be the perfect makeup to just keep in your bag to do quick little touch-ups, super natural, no one will notice, and you don't need a whole freaking makeup kit to make it work, you know? Just for the night, you could definitely use your fingers, your hands, or bring a little sponge with you. Even a little compact sponge, I think, would blend it on very nicely. So I love that. I think I love this foundation for comfort, for quickness. I mean, you guys saw it blended in seconds. It took no time to apply this to the face and have it set and have it look nice. Luca James, no, hey, hey. You come here, you come here right now. Someone is acting out. He is being a naughty teddy. Tell the Shea Butters you are sorry. <laughs> You're so sorry, aren't you? Yeah, you're disrupting the video. Luca James is very sorry for the distraction. Oh, <laughs> you are such a, oh, he's purring so loud. Okay, I'm sorry, video's over, I got a kitten cuddle. Why do you smell like mommy's wax melt? Were you getting into a wax melt? Okay, you can sit on my lap if you're gonna be a good boy. I'm so sorry about that distraction. I think the lazy girl in me loves this foundation. I love the convenience of it. Again, how quickly it went on, how easy it was to blend. And I cannot believe I'm not oily. That's one thing I'm shocked about. I have oily combo skin and I do get quite oily throughout the day. I do not notice any oils. Like I just, I have shine from my highlighter, but it's only on my cheekbone, like where I highlighted. Yeah, all in all you guys, I'm super impressed with this foundation. I think it's fantastic. My personal preference, I think I still prefer a full coverage liquid foundation. I just know what I like and that's what I like. There's nothing wrong with this stick foundation and I think it's great for someone who doesn't need a lot of coverage and wants a fast makeup. I think for me personally, this is a foundation I will use when I'm just running errands for a day, if I'm traveling, if I'm going out, or if I just want, you know, to feel fresh around the house. Sometimes even if I'm not doing anything or going anywhere in the day, I like to put on a little makeup so I just kind of feel good, you know? I just kind of, I don't know, so I just feel pretty. Sometimes I just want to feel pretty. <laughs> That's definitely what I would love this for. Just easy, fast makeup, something to help me look pretty and not feel too bogged down. But as a full coverage glam lover, I think that's still where my heart lies. And I would still prefer to use their no filter foundation, the liquid foundation, which I really like, or any of my other full coverage liquid foundations. That's just what I like. You guys know I like a heavy makeup. I like a glamorous makeup. But again, they didn't claim for this foundation to be that. They didn't say it's full coverage. It claims to be a natural looking foundation. And it definitely, definitely is. Some days I love that and some days I don't. So I think it really all comes down to preference. If you like a more natural, more low maintenance, easy makeup to wear, I mean, who doesn't? But I mean, I really don't love it though. I like a more full coverage, but if you just want a little one and done type of makeup, I think you'd really like this. Let me know, are you gonna be picking up the ColourPop No Filter Stick Foundation? I'm still gonna order my shade. I might work. are you eating my hair? Please forgive the disturbance. He's so annoyed that I've been filming all day and now I'm like filming again. Don't show your booty. No one wants to see. I'm so sorry. Do not show your booty. Do not show your booty. No, your little booty is for you and you alone. You don't show that to anyone else. He is so attention hungry, it's crazy. Anyway, that is my final thoughts on this foundation. Are you guys gonna pick it up or not? Let me know down below. If you do wanna pick it up or you're checking out any other ColourPop products, don't forget you can use my code SHADE20 for 20% off ColourPop till the end of October. It just excludes palettes and sets, again, like Super Shock Shadow sets or lip gloss sets or anything like that. But any individual gloss or individual foundation foundation or individual eyeliner. It totally applies to those things, so you can go ahead and use them on them. Again, please know it's an affiliate code. I always want you guys to know that, and the code will expire at the end of October. Thank you guys for watching my video today. Again, just let me know your thoughts. I'm so curious what everyone's going to think about this. I cannot wait for Taylor's Foundation Friday. I love hearing her thoughts and opinions and reviews of foundation, so I'm excited to hear what she thinks as well. Thank you guys for watching. I love you, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!